Hello friends, in this video lecture, we'll see how to solve the numerical problems on Shargap's rule. So this video is for numerical problems on Shargap rule. So these questions, these type of questions, they are asked in many examinations like CSIR, NET, SET, GET and other exams also. So one thing uh, is that to understand these problems, you should have knowledge about Shargaff's rule. So, if you have not not watched my video, my first video, please watch my first video and then watch this one because uh, you'll understand these uh, numerical questions and problems uh, only if you know the basic principle of Shargaff's rule or basic if you have basic knowledge about Shargaff's rule. So, please watch my first video and then uh, solve these questions link of my first video it is given in the description box which is right below the video so please watch that video and then come back to watch this one this will be good uh, this is good for your understanding uh, you'll understand all these questions so let's have a first question Question number first, a segment of DNA has 120 adenine and 120 cytosine bases. The total number of nucleotides present in the segment is. So what is given in the question? Now we'll try to solve this question. Uh, number of adenine it is given, it is 120 and number of cytosine it is also given, it is 120. So you are asked to find out number of nucleotide see you are given you are provided with the information okay information is that number of adenine is 120 and number of cytosine it is 120 and find out number of nucleotides by using this information only now just imagine and think how will you find out number of nucleotides Okay, but before finding out number of nucleotides, you should know what is nucleotide. So, nucleotides are nothing but the nitrogenous bases paired with sugar and phosphate. Means, when nitrogenous bases, they are with sugar and phosphate molecule, they are called as nucleotides. And remember, in DNA, nitrogenous bases are present as nucleotides because each nitrogen base it is with the phosphate and with the sugar molecule so in dna nitrogen bases are present as nucleotides remember this point this is important point so it means that in a dna molecule number of nitrogenous bases is equal to number of nucleotides okay the number of nitrogenous bases is equal to number of nucleotides. If you know total number of nitrogen bases, you can say total number of nucleotides present in it. Okay, so now adenine and cytosine, it has been given. Now try to find out number of cytosine and guanine so that you can find out the total number of nitrogenous bases in a dna molecule and so you can find out number of nucleotide so uh, to find out total number of nucleotides now you should know total number of nitrogenous bases now uh, see uh, adenine it is 120 okay and so it is 120 now this is very key point this is very important point key point that uh, if you want to find out total number of nucleotides in, the, in a dna molecule you should know the total number of nitrogenous bases okay now remember in a dna molecule four nitrogenous bases are there adenine cytosine thymine and guanine now you have been provided with number of adenine it is 120 and cytosine it is 120 now what is the num what will be the what will be the number of guanine and thymine can you find out the number of guanine and thymine just imagine just try to uh, think how can you find out the number of guanine and thymine now see according to chargaff rule adenine 
it is equal to thymine and cytosin it is equal to guanine okay now shargaff rule it states that number of adenine is equal to number of thymine and number of cytosine is equal to number of guanine so if adenine is 120 so thymine it should be 120 and cytosine if it is 120 then guanine it should be 120 so by using shargaff rule now you know number of guanine and thymine therefore total number of nitrogenous bases in a given dna molecule it should be a plus t plus c plus g 120 is equal to 120 plus 120 plus 120 plus 120 now it comes 418 so total number of nitrogenous bases present in the dna molecule it is 480 means what now we have seen key point was that number of nitrogenous bases is equal to number of nucleotides in a dna molecule if 480 nitrogenous bases is there 480 nucleotides should be there so question is solved now that dna molecule it is having 480 molecules so this is this question is solved now this question now you calculated the number of nucleotide by using shargaff rule you just um, remember that uh, principle that a is equal to t and c is equal to uh, c is equal to g and you find out the number of nitrogenous bases and so nucleotide now let's see question number two in a dna molecule adenine is 20 percent and length of d length of double stranded dna is 6.8 nanometer find out the number of adenine thymine cytosine and guanine now in this question only adenine percentage it is given and length of dna it is given now you have been asked to find out the number of all four nitrogenous bases now how do you find any idea just try to think just try to imagine uh, how how can you find out the number of all four nitrogenous bases if only adenine percentage is given a length of dna is given now uh, we'll see some key points before so, uh, solving solving this question we'll see some key points now remember these key point number one point is that dna is double helix where two strands are tightly coiled over each other now look at the figure now you know in dna two strands are there and they are highly coiled over each other okay uh, okay now due to these co this coiling dna has turns in it okay now look at the figure you can see the turns now uh, look at that arrow uh, which is there it is one turn now due to coiling turns are there okay now remember that one turn is 3.4 nanometer long and has 10.5 10 approximately 10 base pair in one turn it is very important for examination to see one turn of dna it is 3.4 nanometer long and it is having it has 10.5 approximately you should consider it 10 in examination base pair 10 base pair in one turn okay it is this is for b type of dna okay now look at the figure now one turn it is 3.4 nanometer long and it is having 10 nitrogenous bases okay therefore distance between each base pair is 100 percent 0.34 if 10 base pair is uh, are there in 3.4 nanometer so how many will be there in uh, between uh, how many uh, distance will be there how much distance will be there between uh, each base pair so 0.34 now come back to the question now in question uh, you have been provided with length of dna it is 6.8 nanometer okay double standard dna it is 6.8 nanometer now you sh uh, you should know now how many turns will be there if length of dna it is 6.8 nanometer then how many turns will be there uh, in that dna molecule so number of turn is equal to number of uh, number of turns is equal to length of dna by 
3.4 why 3.4 because 3.4 it is the length of one turn ठीक है no length of our DNA it is 6.8 by 3.4 is equal to 2 means this DNA molecule in question the DNA molecule which is there in the question it is having two turns okay now in one turn 10 base pairs are there so in two turns of DNA 20 base pair will be present now see 20 nitrogen base pairs are, are present okay means in these 20 base pairs 40 nitrogenous bases are present remember what what we are saying 20 nitrogen when we say 20 nitrogenous base pairs remember these are pairs okay now means a is pairing with t c is pairing with g then g is pairing with c means these are pairs if 20 nitrogen base pairs are there means 40 nitrogenous bases are there are you getting 40 nitrogenous bases are there okay so 20 into 2 is equal to 40 nitrogenous bases are present in a given dna molecule so total number of nitrogenous bases are 40 in given dna molecule and adenine is 20 percent of it now you can uh, link now, now you can have some uh, you can uh, understand see uh, 40 uh, nitrogenous bases are there and 20, adenine is 20 percent of it now according to Shargaff rule now percent of a is equal to percent of t and uh, number of a is equal to number of t and same uh, is with uh, cytosine and guanine therefore if a is equal to 20 percent t should be 20 percent now what will be the percent of cytosine and guanine because neither c or g percent has given in question now you have been provided with a percent so you have find out the percentage of thymine but how will you how how will you find out the percent of c and g c four nitrogenous bases they make the hundred percent of dna okay a plus t plus c plus g is equal to hundred percent so a plus t it is 40 percent of dna okay a is equal to t 20 plus 20 40 so a plus t is equal to 40 percent of the dna so a plus t plus c plus g is equal to 100 now put the 40 value a plus t 40 plus c plus g is equal to 100 therefore c plus t it is 100 minus 40 is equal to 60 now you know c c plus g their combi uh, their uh, addition is 60 okay now c plus g is equal to 60 and according to Shargaff rule c is equal to g cytosine's percentage is always equal to guanine percentage so they are equal so c should be 30 and g should be 30 now in question now you know percentage of percentage of all nitrogenous bases okay now but in question you have been asked to find out the number of adenine guanine cytosine and thymine and now you only know percent of percentage of these bases now try to find out the number of uh, nitrogenous bases uh, by using percentage okay now to know the number of each basis we can convert percent in numbers as we know the total number of bases and their percentage okay this is key point this is important point see we know that uh, that num total number of nitrogenous bases it is 40 okay and we know the percentage percentage of each nitrogen basis so we'll try to find out the number of each nitrogen basis so what will be the 20 percent of 40 base pair because adenine and thymine they are 20 percent and total nitrogenous bases are 40 in this dna molecule 40 nitrogenous bases are present so answer is it is eight okay eight nitrogen bases comprises the 20 percent of 40 base pair long DNA molecule now a is equal to 20 percent so 20 percent means 8 nitrogenous bases so a is equal to 8 and t is equal to 8 okay both this a and t they are 8 8 in numbers means a plus t it should be 16 okay now c and g they are 30 percent 
total nitrogen is bases are 40 so how do you find out number of cng 30 by 100 30 percent okay 30 by 100 into 40 40 because 40 or uh, total number of nitrogen is bases are 40 so you have divided uh, 30 by 100 into 40 so answer is what should be the answer answer is it is 12 okay so what is the uh, 30 percent of 40 nitrogenous bases it is 12 so what does it mean it means that cytosine it is 12 and guanine it is 12 so now you know adenine is 8 thymine is 8 a plus t is 16 and c is equal to 12 and g is equal to 12 means you know c plus g is equal to 24 Okay, so you have find out number of nitrogenous bases. Now, second way you can find out the number of C and G. Now, see, uh, at A plus T, 16. Okay, total are 40. So, 40 minus 16 is equal to 24. So, C and G, they should be equal. Okay, so if C plus G is equal to 24, okay, then... Uh, individual number of c and g it should be 12 and 12 okay now we have solved this question also now question number third double stranded dna have four coils and 14 base pairs are linked by double bond find out number of c and g base pair now you are you are asked to find out number of c and g base pair only coils number of coils have been given okay now find out the answer and write it in comment box. Try to solve this question and write it in comment box. Please subscribe, like and share my video. Thank you.